Paul Salt at breakfast. BBC Radio Merseyside. Hey, it's ten minutes to eight o'clock. We know how hard the past twelve months have been working in the NHS. Well, here on Merseyside, six members of staff at Mersey Care NHS Foundation Trust have been recognised for their outstanding efforts during the COVID-19 pandemic by being awarded prestigious National Nursing Awards by Ruth May, the Chief Nursing Officer for England. They were surprised with a Chief Nursing Officer Silver Award each during a ceremony at the Trust's headquarters in Prescott on Merseyside. The awards reward the significant and outstanding contribution made by nurses in England and their exceptional contribution to nursing practice. Jenny Hurst is Mersey Care's Deputy Director of Nursing and Tanesh Baku is Senior Infection Prevention and Control Nurse. Uh, they both received the award. A very good morning to you both. Good morning. Uh, Jenny, we'll start with you, if we may. Let's start with you were recognised for exceptional leadership during the COVID-19 pandemic and for demonstrating the passion and drive that's visible to everyone. What was it like to receive that award? I was extremely surprised because um, I'd organised it for other people to be there um, and didn't know I'd been nominated myself. So I was very surprised that I'd got the award. Um, I'm very pleased because I've got a very good team that works with me. Uh, how long have you been nursing for? Um, approximately 33 years. Wow. Um, has, it, has, it, has, has the job changed a lot during that period of time, would you say? Um, I've seen lots of changes over those years and particularly been very challenging over the last 15 months um, for everybody really across the whole of the city. Yeah, I would imagine that's like nothing you've ever experienced before, isn't it, the last 15 months or so? De describe what it's been like. Um, absolutely. Um, very challenging, but also managing staff anxiety and patient anxiety um, and a lot of pressure to ensure that maintaining safety around infection control as well. Uh, Tanesh, I'll bring you in at this point. A very good morning to you. Hi, morning. Hi, how are you? Uh, very good, thank you. You won your award for your work as Mersey Care's Community Lead for Infection Control. Um, what does that mean and what have you been focusing on this, this last year or so? Um, I think with the pandemic and the way it was spreading, we were trying to keep people as safe as we could uh, to minimise the risk of the uh, COVID virus being transmitted between uh, staff working in hospitals, uh, staff working in care homes and the residents in those care homes as as well as everyone else, really, in, in Liverpool. Um, so it, it's, it's been a challenging time, um, but I think with the support of our colleagues and um, with the leadership from people like Jenny and our care home staff, we've managed to do as much as we can to minimise the risk of this uh, virus being transmitted. It must have been quite stressful, particularly at the beginning of the pandemic, because there was so much focus on on PPE equipment, managing to get a hold of it and it being good enough. That must have been a real stressful situation. Uh, in terms of our trust, I think we were worried like everyone else, but I, I don't think at any point did we struggle to get any PPE um, for medical care stuff. I think there were a few problems with uh, the care homes. Was the way they were working, working previously was a little bit different. But I think we managed to get around that eventually. And um, I think we did have uh, adequate PPE. So just the training to get people used to the idea of wearing this PPE all the time. Um, but I think we managed to get around to it in the end. Yeah, and, and it's not just the equipment, is it? You've had to support the staff throughout this, this challenging time. What, what's it been like for them and you? Um, it's, it's like Jenny said, it's dealing with the anxiety. It, uh, there was quite a lot of anxiety in our staff, in our patients, and... Um, uh, but, you know, I think everyone really wanted to be in work. Everyone wanted to do as much as they could to help with the situation. So that helped. So people, you know, that instinct kicked in for all our nurses, for all our care home staff as well, because they were doing as much as they could, despite all the risks that we thought would come with the virus. How long have you been with the NHS? I've been in the NHS um, 10 years now, 10 years this year. Wow. OK. Uh, well, let's bring Jenny back in. Uh, Jenny, you're, you're the boss, aren't you? So are you the, in, in, in a way, you've got to lead by example. What Whatever you do, you know, is kind of a, a bit of a benchmark, I suppose, is it? Uh, yeah, I mean, it did feel there was quite a lot of pressure, but I was very well supported by the executive team. And also, um, I've got to say, I'm very lucky with a, 
a large infection control team, but also my other nursing colleagues as well. So it felt very much a team effort because everybody wanted to do their best um, to maintain patient safety. But you you must have to, there must have been times where you didn't feel great, you felt anxious, but maybe you can't show that. You've got to be there for other people as well, haven't you, I suppose? Yeah, it, it, we. It, you've got to show that, um, you know, that you don't feel anxious because I think if you do, then I think it makes other people feel very anxious and I think you've got to remain calm. Um, so we did a lot of hours to make sure that we were there available for staff for support. Um, uh, people say that nursing is not just a job, it's a vocation. I suppose that's been brought home really this, this last 15 months, hasn't it? Or so. How, how are the staff feeling now? I think the staff are tired. Um, it's been a long 15 months. A lot of people haven't had a break. Um, people are starting to just this year have some holidays, even though it's not necessarily abroad. But it does feel like people can actually get away now um, because obviously you were going home and not going out. So it was very different where we'd get no downtime, it felt like. Um, so I think people are tired and ready for that rest, but it's not actually there at the moment. It's still very busy. Uh, Tanesh, what about, what about you in terms of um how people are feeling now do you think people feel a, a little bit better about things they do i think people feel a bit better about things but like jenny said we i think um we we did notice a lot of stuff in ourselves people getting really tired with the with the pace at, at which things were moving and there's a little bit of relief now going around um at least we're able to go away we're able to travel a bit more and we're not working as long hours as we did uh, 15 hours ago, uh, because we did a lot of long hours. And I think Jenny was working seven days a week, I think, did once. <laughs> uh, but I think things are a bit better now. Uh, there is sort of, um, our anxiety has gone down a, a lot, and we're just looking forward uh, that the vaccinations and every, every other process that we've got in place sort of help, helps us get out of, uh, from this situation, gives us a lot more relief than we have at the moment. And despite all the stress, I would imagine you can't imagine working anywhere else. No, and, and uh, um, you know, I think one of my friends told me last week, and I put it in an email to the team, that, you know, soldiers get trained for war, not for peace. You know, although it was a challenging time, it's the time, you know, when you're working as an infection control practitioner, these are the times that you train for, these are the things that you train for, these are the things that you are prepared to work with. And it, it's been challenging in, in a lot of ways. But as a, as a professional working in infection and control, it's been an interesting time to be working and learning a lot. And, um, you know, it's, be, it's, it's been good in that way. Uh, at least that's one thing we took away from it. Well, congratulations to both of you on the, uh, on the awards. Where, where is the award, Jenny? Is it on the mantelpiece? <laughs> oh, yeah, pride of place. <laughs> <laughs> well, it must, it must feel great, though, to be recognised is, is such a, a, a big thing, isn't it? It is, and it's very nice to be recognised, and I think it's recognising the hard work that everyone's done in the trust as well, um, because at the end of the day, it's it has been definitely teamwork. We've seen the biggest probably teamwork than we've ever seen across the whole of the NHS. What about you, Tanesh? Where is where's your award? <laughs> I think my mum has got it, but it really is an award for the team, and I'm really pleased that our team uh, were acknowledged in this way. Uh, because it's been a hard 15 months and I think it's for everyone really it's for all our partners that we work with to keep our patients safe and we're really proud to have received it well uh, congratulations to both of you and thank you for joining me all right thank you thank very you. much thank you that's Jenny and Tanashta who were both uh, award winners uh, at that special ceremony that was uh, taking place in Prescott